Hey, it's Whitney from ecoveegangal.com and welcome back to the What a Vegan Eats channel where I share what I eat on a daily basis. And I'm sitting here drinking a coffee. Not really. Anybody that really knows me knows that I don't drink coffee very frequently. Every once in a while I'll have it as a treat for taste. But because I simply just like coffee for the taste, I discovered a really wonderful alternative years ago, and I've talked about this a few times on the main Eco Vegan Gal channel, and probably actually on this channel in the earlier days when I first started it, and I just thought I'd bring it up again. It's called Ticino. So anybody who likes the taste of coffee and wants to kind of have coffee beverages without the caffeine, without the acidity, Ticino is a really nice option. It's not 100% low histamine, but I was just craving a really interesting drink. <laughs> Today I've been having major chocolate cravings and feeling kind of bored with food. Okay, that's pretty pretty much every day. So I had this lying around. This is their organic French roast. I brewed it up. I added in some coconut palm sugar when it was done brewing and some coconut milk and a few drops of hazelnut flavored stevia. So I kind of made myself a hazelnut coffee latte. And I was trying to think, is there another word for hazelnut coffee? I don't know. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. I mean, Ticino doesn't taste exactly like coffee, but it's pretty close. This is not technically low histamine or gluten-free because it has barley. Actually, I'm not 100% sure that barley is high histamine, so maybe it's okay. But um, if anybody's sensitive to gluten and barley specifically, then... You might not be able to do this. I checked on their website real quick. I think everything's made with barley. It also has carob, chicory, ramon seeds, whatever those are, and then there's a coffee flavor added to it. It's all organic and it, it's, it's really quite good. So aside from that, I had some applesauce. I added some frozen organic blueberries to it. That was really good. I'm definitely gonna have more of that. And I had some more pasta. I had a bunch left over from making it yesterday. So I made a few bowls of that today. And I feel like there's some, oh, and I had the brown rice cereal. <laughs> so it's been a mellow kind of bland day, a lot of brown and yellow colors. So I'm looking forward to, well, I guess the blueberries added some blue, but I'm looking forward to adding in something more exciting for dinner. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I've, I've been feeling kind of a little bit stressed today. Did my taxes, uh, or finished my taxes today, and that's not usually a fun process. Although I have like the best accountant ever. <laughs> She's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little bit stressed, but tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm excited about that. I, I think I'm still gonna do videos, but I'm not 100% sure. I might take the day off, um, but it also might be fun to bring you along, show you what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna eat. But yeah, tonight I'm really craving, I think emotionally, just craving exciting food. There's a restaurant called Sage. Have I, I've taken you there at least once, once or twice I think now. And um, they have a new menu, so I wanna go check it out. Also. I've really been into vegan cheeses lately, and there's a store in LA called Organics with an X. It's an or organic market, and they have so many artisanal vegan cheeses, like all the cashew cheeses now. So I'm very tempted to go there and spend a ton of money on on expensive <laughs> vegan cheeses, which is not really where my finances should go right now, but doesn't that sound good? Well, here I am going off the histamine diet a little bit again. I just made sweet potatoes roasted in the oven and I had this idea of wanting to spice things up literally. So I kind of turned them into buffalo sweet potatoes. They didn't really come out quite as amazing as I thought they were, but they're still quite good. I put um, some hot sauce on with some coconut oil, a little bit of olive oil, and then I used the seasoning that I'm really into right now and it's been showing up in so many of my dishes. It's the Engage Organics. It's a dilly, salt-free blend, which is garlic, sesame seeds, dill, lemon peel, jalapeno, pepper, and stevia. 
It's really tasty, although I still sprinkled on a little bit of salt onto this dish. And it's pretty good. I would like to make it better and it got me crazy. I think, you know what it was? I saw on Sage Bistro, is it Sage Bistro or Sage Kitchen? Whatever. That Sage restaurant. Um, they have a new buffalo cauliflower wrap that was making my mouth water. And that's why I made this. And it's kind of hitting the spot. And my, I have just intense cravings today and it's... It's frustrating because they're not getting satisfied. What do I do? I'm gonna eat this. Maybe just feeling full will be enough satisfaction. <laughs>